All right, Miss Olive has gotten in trouble for some whining. Oh, big yawn. And carrying on. Now we'll see how she does learning. Um, she has to stay in crate till given permission to come out. Couple inch test. Good. No. All right, so that might have been my, when I said good, that might have unlocked her. So I'm gonna keep my voice really neutral because I do wanna help her, but I did move that into her rather firmly. But she's already been corrected for whining. And we'll see, oh, it's a distraction, it doesn't count. Look, she's thinking, nope. So I wanna just kinda point something out. So she's thinking, she's really thinking, moving slow. There's not a ton of drive forward, she's thinking. So um, hopefully I caught that on camera, but I actually slowly did it until she moved back. And then I made the noise with it where it strategically didn't go on her nose. Now, every now and then, if we have a really out of control driven dog, um, then I will, then I will do it all the way fluid uh, to make you know, to make a, a point, and if they don't back up, it will bump into their nose, but they're okay. <laughs> it's not a big deal. It's really important that they understand the spatial pressure, but with this puppy, look at that. She's doing wonderful with um, what little bit we've done, and so it wasn't necessary to do that. That's what I'm trying to say. So what I did instead was I had closed it slowly, and then once she was out of the way, I made the noise just to make my point because she, to be clear, like, cause if you're not clear, you're being unfair. Just like when I said, good girl, and I said it excitedly, I might've aided in her coming out because my tone was not being clear with what I was trying to communicate. So you gotta watch all these things, guys. It's so important, but look at this. It's very nice. So I'm gonna reach in and leash her up, which will cause some new excitement. Oh yeah, oh, thank you. She gave me a little kiss. Oh, no more kisses. Oh, I know. Hang on. This is slow going. I'm holding my phone. All right. So now she's newly excited. Look at her. She's a very solid puppy. Oh, good girl. Kind of have my hand on it. I was ready. <laughs> no. She's getting curious again. She's got the leash on, which means excitement. Good decision. Good girl. Look at that venting, moaning and groaning. This is so important, such an important part, guys. So my hand is off, my body is open to where the only thing that is holding her in there is her mind, her impulse control. I'm not in front of her blocking or anything like that. I wanna work up to this being an open space. The next hard thing to do is like pick up the leash and stand up and kind of show that. Oh, good job. So I, I'm right here, right? So what about when I kind of move to the side? If she was to get up, um, oh, it's wrapped around her, her, her elbow. If she was to get up, I could just move forward, no, and kind of block, or I could use the door again. Good job. Now, she might be a little unsure when I ask her to come out. Like, are you sure? After all this, are you sure? <laughs> and that, that'll be a good thing to see in her because she's quite driven. So that'll be okay if you see it in your puppy. You build context by just doing it over and over and being consistent. But calm and crate is one of the most important things that you want to try to teach your puppy from day one. And it can be quite difficult as they're basically getting used to being alone and not snuggled up with other you know, litter mates. Good job, Olive, come. Come on, yeah, come on. Good job. So that's what I mean, some encouragement is sometimes necessary or leash guidance. Good girl, you did good, yeah, you did so good. All right, so we're just gonna do a couple of repetitions. Come, crate, see if she'll go right in. Oh, good job, if she didn't have, I would have tossed a treat in there, no big deal. Yes, or her kibble, there it is, get it. Oh, good girl. But she has to wait again. So this is how we do this routine over and over. She stays on leash because we're, we're just practicing it. Good job. Look at her thinking. Oh, I love it. Now she's looking for crumbs. Olive, Olive, come. 
Yeah, you can do it. Good job. Good girl. Let me pick up her leash again. Cause she'll probably need to be guided in. They'll come right, they might come right out, but they might need to be guided in. Oh, come on, great. She's also not used to leash pressure either. So, the, um, which causes that opposition reflex look. She's like, I don't know how to follow that. They don't understand it. I'm gonna put it kind of above her head like that. Let's go, come on, which will help. Great. Oh, great, there you go, good job. So if I hadn't have felt her give in quickly, Again, you just toss food inside the crate and then guide them in. And if they still don't want to go in, if you have a little tiny puppy that's struggling with the step or anything, you can pick them up and put them in and then they still have to wait. And, to, and then they'll learn, they'll get more confidence and they'll jump over that little rail right there. Sometimes the plastic ones are harder because they've got a bigger step with small, small, tiny puppies. But we do this, you know, eight weeks old, nine, 10 weeks old, you get your puppy, this is what you're doing. <gasps> Come. Come. Yeah, good job. Good job, puppy. And then I'm basically going to do this over and over again, which builds up context for her. And she'll go right in and wait. It'll start to become normal, the new normal. Good girl. See, she didn't resist that time. So that's the thing. You don't just do this once or twice. You practice this every day. And then the most difficult part, there you go. The most difficult part is what you first saw when you, you know, you come in and they don't have a leash on yet and you're teaching them to wait. Olive, come. Good job. Now, do you notice how Olive is doing great? Just sticking her in there and waiting. But let's see if this works. Place, or crate, I mean. So the whole issue with thresholds, with the front door, with crate, is them opening looks like an invitation. Just like when you say come and you move back, the crate door opening. Look, yeah, see, that's so that's what it is. Good girl. Good job. It looks like an invitation. When you open that door, they have to learn that even though this door swings open, just like the front door, they can't bolt out of it. It's so important, guys. So it's the act of opening and closing this and teaching them that even though this door says come through, they have to wait for your permission. So that takes some practice. But she, she's doing so good. Good job. Oh yeah, there you go. Olive, come. Come on, babe. Good girl.